Hey guys, Alex T. Does Stuff here, and last week I went to Tennessee to see every tourist trap I possibly could. During my family vacation in the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, I decided I would make it my mission to visit as many tourist traps as I possibly could. I started off the 10 hour drive, not including stops, listening to my Radiohead playlist that I curated for myself for the ride, because what else would I do? But then it hit me, shouldn't I be looking for tourist traps and roadside attractions to visit? The answer is yes. I began googling world's largest apple, world's largest World's largest mug, but unfortunately all of those options were borders away from where we were driving However before we left I had done some digging and I found the salt and pepper shaker museum And it's exactly what it sounds like We visited Cades Cove, which is a small fraction of the national park um, at the Great Smoky Mountains um, I got some cool pictures. I took a nice, long, refreshing pee behind a tree uh, near a church. I'm not going to show you a picture of that because it's gross. Obviously, sorry. I do have an OnlyFans, but you can check that out. I might post it there. Day two, we woke up real early, and I went to Kate's Cove again. This time, we were set on finding a waterfall. We did. I took some nice pictures, a funny video. Oh. Uh, we did it! Oh my god. Day three, we went to Dollywood, basically Dolly Parton, uh, Hershey Park. Uh, there was a giant uh, can of Bush's baked beans. Goodbye, sweet prince. But the coolest thing we did was the bubble show, the bubbles gazillion, whatever it was called. This thing was sick. This dude, he 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 just appeared on stage. He did some like mediocre bubble tricks, you know. And then I, out of the blue, there are bubbles everywhere. There were uh, literally bubbles like everywhere. And this dude's messing around with lasers and shit. And, and then he and he finishes. He's like, "All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See ya. Have fun, Danny Yang." I love you, have my chill. Day four, we went to a different mountain place. It was kind of cool. I got some good pictures. Wow. Ooh. But little did I know the adventure that would lie the next day. Day five, we set out to Gatlinburg, which is the home of the Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum. We went there, and it was the most magical experience of my entire life, let me tell you. They had big shakers, they had small shakers, they had shakers with, with little chef people, they had old people shakers, they had golden shakers, they had frog shakers. The entirety of the United States as salt and pepper shakers. But the most important thing that they had was that they had a toilet and urinal salt and pepper shaker set. Let's just say I left that store feeling like a champion. The owners never saw it coming. These two salt and pepper shakers will be in my background forever. Let's go to Ripley's Aquarium. Uh, it's not as cool as the Baltimore Aquarium or the one in New Jersey, but it was still pretty cool. I went through like this little ocean tunnel thing. I saw this abomination right here. Um, it has a saw on its head, which is really upsetting. It must be a struggle. But the real struggle was that my sister, she wanted to go inside one of those play place things, you know, like the ones they have in McDonald's. This one was like a mega play place. It was like a like a play palace i was on sister duty so it was my job to make sure that my sister was safe inside of the play palace so i had no other option but to go in <laughs>
Hey guys, it's me, Alex T. Does stuff. I'm I'm gonna go on the goat coaster. Isn't that nice? Okay. Day six. I woke up that morning with a massive headache, but a longing for goats. <laughs> the goat coaster is where we went next. Now, unfortunately, you're not allowed to take video or photos. You're not even allowed to have your phone on this ride. But I can happily conclude that the goat coaster is the best roller coaster on planet Earth. No one can convince me otherwise. Okay. Goat big or goat home. <laughs>